Financial services technology specifically has kind of hit its stride in the last couple of years. We've seen a lot of companies come out. We've seen banks finally try to pay attention to this whole thing. What I'm looking for are the new companies that are going to come out of that that are going to like change the way the banks think about the entire industry. So thinking about how we translate the way that banks talk into the way that humans actually live their lives is one of the biggest things that I think we can see. Sure. Well, we're consumer facing, so I'm always really excited when I see companies trying to really innovate the consumer facing side, especially trying to serve you know people or clients who might not have you know exposure to payoff services or fintech products. That that'll be really exciting. Well, we're right now we we done the research and we know that our user base wants payment processing, and so. You know, instead of building it in-house, we're looking at different companies that we could potentially partner with that offer a really interesting payment processing solution. I, I did a fireside chat with Rich Cordray, the CFPB director, and he talked about the CFPB taking up the issue of uh, data aggregation to be sure that customers can use their data with permission to accomplish their financial health goals. That's a big uh, breakthrough as well, I think. So it's exciting. There's a huge energy level here, and um, it's just fantastic to be here. Everybody should come. Uh, so for me, um, one of the highlights of this event was going to be what Rich Cordray had to say about the CFPB's agenda for financial technology. Um, and he could have taken that speech in a couple of different directions, right? The CFPB has a negative agenda, right? Enforcement, supervision, discussing the degree to which people are not adhering to existing rules and standards, or you could take it in a positive direction and talk about the work that people are doing to, to bring um, more and more people into the financial mainstream, to find new ways to enable people to meet their liquidity needs, to help people overcome uh, financial distress, and then to talk about the things that the CFPB specifically can do to enable that. And from my perspective, he hit an absolute home run. Uh, I'm really interested in learning more about some of the uh, AI talks that, that are going on. Uh, I think particularly like really getting deep down beyond just chatbots and NLP and really like developing a system that will think and act rationally and help take away some of the cognitive load that a person goes through in terms of planning out their finances on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm, I'm actually really excited about what the corporates are doing in terms of allowing integrations with their services. So really talking to a lot of different incumbents about what they're enabling via SDK or API access. Financial services is often characterized by principal agent issues where the incentives of the individuals who are selling and distributing products is misaligned with the interest of the consumer and there's very basic economics that creates that dynamic. And I think that technology companies have a, a, a great potential to change the, the economic equation around distribution um, and make it much more cost effective for agents whether that's a financial advisor or an insurance broker um, or a banker to serve a broader segment of the market profitably um, and, and do so in a way that is in the best interest of the consumer.